Hey everybody, congratulations on making it to day six of our ab challenge. If you made it this far, you can definitely make it to the end. You should be proud of yourselves for making it this far. So we'll keep on going and get through it together. Okay, so for today's workout, all you need is an optional dumbbell. So for some advanced options, um, maybe five to eight pounds, just one is all you need. All right, and then your mat, of course. So come on down to the floor and we'll get right into it. Starting with the warm up. Come all the way down. Fingertips lightly support the head. Brace your core. Top of your chin. We start with a slow upper crunch. Lift, lift, down, down. Head, neck, and shoulders come all the way off the floor. Tuck your chin and look between the knees. Now let's add the lower body. So combo crunch. Lightly tap the floor. Keep your low back down as your toes tap. Lift and lower. Take a hold at the top. Hold, two, one, go again. So just really slide the ribs to hips right here. Two more. Tailbone is maybe just slightly off the floor if you can. Hold. Next move, we're going to cross the front ankle over the back knee. Extend the front arm and twist. Lift and lower. Targeting the side of the waist, our oblique. Reach your shoulder towards the opposite knee. It's a big twist. Lift and lower. Fingertips lightly supporting the head. We're not pulling on the neck. Elbow back. Four. Three. Contracting just above the hip bone. Take a peak contraction at the top. Hold. Release again. Lift and hold. Two more. Hold. Last time. Now we're gonna keep the legs here. You can relax the upper body. Reverse crunch. Lift, lift, down, and tap. Targeting the lower abdominals. The leg on top is adding extra resistance. Control on the way down. Lift, contract, down slow. If this is too much, Uncross the legs and do a regular reverse crunch. Up hold, hold, two, one. Contract the lower fibers of the abdominal muscle. It's not a big movement, just lift the hips slightly to feel that in your low abs, just below the belly button. Let's take it to the other side. Cross, extend the back arm, twist. Remember, keep the elbow pulling back so we get a bigger rotation through the abdominals. Exhale to lift. Can you reach a little further? Starting to feel some heat to the middle of our core. Here's four. Take it up and hold. Hold, two, one, go again. Lift, exhale. Release, two more. Pin the opposite arm to the floor. Relax the upper body, just the lower. Lift the legs, lift, lift, down and tap, nice and easy. Just a slight lift of our tailbone. Now as you tap the toe, keep your low back super glued to the mat. So you should never be able to reach your hands underneath your back here. It's arching up. Take the modified version. Tracking just a little belly button. Take it for a peak hold. Hold, two, one, go again. Lift the tailbone just slightly, feel it. Two more, lift, exhale, release, one more. Uncross the legs and twist, twist and change. To make this more challenging, you can extend the legs long. Again, we're just keeping the low back on the floor. Double pulse, here's two, and change. Rotate your chest towards the outer thigh. That gives you the biggest rotation. Last two, last one, hold. Hands wide and lift the hips into a bridge. Drive your hips up to the ceiling. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your hamstrings, hold. 
and roll down slowly, one vertebrae at a time. Grab the backs of the thighs and roll top. All right, we've got three blocks of work in this next set. They all start slow, and then I'm gonna give you the option to increase intensity. So again, you choose the level that's right for you. This is a chance to get your heart rate up, burn some calories, burn fat, and build lean muscle and a strong core. Hands right under the shoulders. Let's all start here and set that weight off to the side. We don't need it quite yet. All right, holding a plank. To modify, you're on your knees. Hands under the shoulders. Knee drive, knee to chest in. And change. Now we're going slow. You can really feel the isolation in your core. Bring the knees as far forward as you can. Squeeze. That's it. Push the floor away from you. Reach the crown of the head forward. Keep your hips steady right in the middle here. Not too high. Option to pick it up. Let's go fast. Mountain climber. Hands under the shoulders. Here's eight, seven. Stay with it. Three, two, one, hold. All right, heart rate's lifted. Moving into our next series, Pilates Inspired. We're gonna hug the front knee in and extend the back, right here. You can keep the head on the floor or lift for a little more. Slowly change, keeping your back down. You wanna tuck your chin. The lower the leg, the more challenging this one is. So beginners, keep the leg higher, about 45 degrees. Now you can stay here, or I'm gonna count down 20 fast. Ready, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold. Next move, we extend the top leg. Opposite leg extends out. You can grab behind the calf, hamstring, or ankle, whatever's comfortable for you. Other side, little leg pull. Again, low back flat on the floor, tucking the chin. So you're looking right towards the knees here. Just doing a little leg pull. Same options as before. If this pace is challenging, stay here. Otherwise, join me, 20 fast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold. Knees in. We have one more here in this position. Bicycle twist. Extend the back leg. You know this move. Other side. Elbows wide. Chest towards the outer thigh. Same with the legs. The lower you go, the more challenging this is. Control the movement. Take a deep breath. Are you ready? Last one. Let's go fast. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold. Whew. Good work. We got one more block. We're going back to the mountain climber, remember? It's a short set. You can do it. Okay, hands under the shoulders. This time, we're bringing the knee across to the opposite shoulder. So this is gonna activate our obliques. Bring your knee towards the opposite elbow, squeeze. See if you can get a little closer. Feel how hard your abs work when you bring that knee close. Should we pick it up? What do you think? Let's go, let's do it. Twisting mountain climber. Yeah, feel the obliques here. Hands down underneath the shoulders. Take a deep breath. Just a couple more. Here's four, three, two, and hold. That was challenging. Roll that onto your side. A little isolation work. Today's something different. I think you're gonna like this. Come down to your side, all the way down to a comfortable position. Now bring your hips to the back of the mat, right here. Legs to the front corner, stack. Optional, you can place the weight on your outer thigh. 
if you want a little bit more resistance. Leg lift. So now we're targeting the hip abductors, the outer thighs. We're also training our obliques here. Now, if your hips are rocking around a lot, get rid of the weight and your fingertips just lightly support you here. You want to stay really stable. Our core is stabilizing our hips here. You don't have to lift the legs super high. We just want to start to feel that in the side of the leg, in the boot, the booty. Don't let your hips roll back on to keep them stacked. Feel the core stabilizing. Something new. Hold the leg in the middle. Hold it here. Knee to chest and extend long. In, out. In and out. Really crunch your core as you pull the side of the chest. Put it together. One leg lift. Now pull the knee in and out. Just like that. So it's up, lower parallel, in, extend. Starting to feel a burn in the hip. You can get rid of the weight at any time. Keep your core steady. Belly button to the spine. There's two. Now hold the parallel hold. Pulse. La 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 la. Woo! Do you feel it? That is a burner. I feel it right here. Stay with me. Here's four, three, two, one. Ooh, time. Set your weight down, roll onto your back. Lift the hips, glute bridge. Lift and lower. Again, working the posterior chain, driving through the heels, strengthening the back of our body. Lift and hold. Now pulse. Three, two, one, go again. Three. As we lift, squeeze your glutes. Squeeze the back of the legs, the hamstrings. Now try this. Bring your knees a little closer together. Your knees don't have to touch, but they should be reaching inward. Do you feel how that activates even more the inner thighs? Three, two, one. Keep it going. Lift, two, one. All the way up on the shoulders. We've got two more. Lift and squeeze. Last time. Stop, roll down. Grab the back of your thighs, roll top. Let's take it to the other side, right away. Height position. Hips to the back of the mat, legs to the front corner. As soon as you're ready, join me, leg lift. Lift and lower. Same option as before. You can keep the fingertips lightly supporting if your hips are wobbling. We want to keep our hips as steady as possible. If you're using a weight, kind of place in mid-thigh so you feel the resistance. You get that extra challenge. Another option here, you can bend the, the bottom knee. That'll help a little bit more with your balance and stability. Up to you. Lift and lower. Stay in control here. Hips are stacked. We don't want our hips rolling forward or rocking around. You might start to feel it a little quicker on this side. Give me two more. Lift, lower, now hold parallel, side of chest. Pull in and extend, in and extend. Really crunch your core as you pull the knee towards the chest. So we put it together. One leg lift. One knee pull. Great for our core, hips and thighs. Reshaping the hips and thighs. Strong hips help keep us stable. It's all part of our core. Two more sets. One more. Ready? Hold it out and pulse. Lift. Lift. Hi, Minnie. Oh, that's a burner. Get rid of that weight if you need to. Just finish. Just finish. Mind over matter. Push through. Four, three, two, one. Good 
three, two, and one. Last exercise, guys. I want you to roll over. Okay, make sure I fit my camera here close enough. All right, lifting up. Coming into a superman, or a superwoman. You know the superwoman, right? Okay, pull your belly button to the spine. Reach your arms long. Shoulder blades down and back. Squeeze your butt and pull everything into the midline. Take a breath. Now swim. Little swim. Reaching long through the arms and legs. Working the whole back side of our body. Four, three, two, and one. All right, last one. I'm gonna give you one more swimming lesson. Move my mat just a tad so I have room. I'm gonna teach you the breaststroke. You guys know, know this if you swim? Check it out. We reach up and around. Inhale and then exhale, pull up and around. Pull your shoulder blades down and back. Squeeze your butt. You can keep your feet on the floor or lift as you come up. Reach long, come up and pull. Feel the resistance. So you don't need water to swim. Good, deep breath. We're almost there. Reach long. All right, two more, your best. Last one. Inhale and exhale. Done. <sighs> Take a child's pose. Awesome job today. That was challenging. Some different exercises with a lot of focus on our back and hips. Let's take a cat cow stretch. So go ahead and tuck your tail around the spine, tuck your chin. Now look forward, reach your hips back. One more time, inhale and exhale, tuck tail, tuck chin, reach your rib cage up to the ceiling. Inhale, come to center, exhale. Cow pose, reach the hips back. Lift your heart. Oh, feels so good. Let's bring our right leg forward in between the hands. Stretching the hip flexor. Opposite arm reaches up. Good. Knees together, change sides. Hips pushing forward and down. And reach. Amazing day, amazing job today. You guys did really good, so, so keep sticking with it. And tomorrow, we're already on day seven. Keep up the great work, and I'll see you next time. Take care.